Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another Prize Picks video talking about the NBA in this one for Thursday, January 18th. And in this video, we have five picks for you guys to consider. So stay tuned in the video to see all five of the picks. We've been absolutely cashing out in the private Discord here. We have five plus cappers giving out picks in there, and people have been absolutely cashing out in the private Discord here. It's less than a dollar per day on the monthly plan, so definitely check it out. It'll be linked to the top of the description and the pinned comment of this video. Numbers of capper that's been on fire as of late gave out a three for three on Wednesday and cashed out. So definitely consider checking it out. It'll be linked down below. A ton of people winning in there, as you guys saw in the Discord, so more picks over there, but let's get into these in this video. The first one we're gonna go to is going to be Scotty Barnes, and we're gonna go to the under for Scotty Barnes on the points, plus the rebounds. Barnes just hasn't been rebounding as effectively or scoring that well either, and I think Chicago is gonna be kind of a tough matchup in this one for this Raptors team now without Pascal Siakam. And Gary Trent back, who's actually been gunning a lot of shots, made like eight threes the previous game. So Scotty Barnes also is on a back-to-back -back here. We can look at this one over on Outlier, which is a great tool I use every single day for sports betting and for prize picks. So highly recommend it. They do have a seven-day free trial if you want to check it out. It'll be linked down below to get that trial. Points plus rebounds. We can see in the last four games, Scotty Barnes has not hit this one, hasn't even really come that close. The rebounding has been down overall, but had one big rebounding game here against Boston. But besides that, five boards, three, seven, three, two, four, two, and six. And I don't like the 19 and a half points either. I think that is going to be too high. So I like the combination of the points plus the rebounds. He basically would need 20 points and eight boards if he were to hit those, and I just can't see that happening in Chicago. I think it's a tough matchup for him. They have a bunch of pretty long athletic guys like DeRozan and Zach Levine at a guard spot and Alex Caruso, good defender. So I don't think it's going to be as easy for Scotty Barnes in this one, taking the under on him. The second pick we're going to go to is going to be John Collins, a player that I liked Yesterday, it was supposed to play against the Warriors, which got canceled, but liking him again, going back to his PRA here, I think it's just a undervalued one. Um, it was 19 and a half yesterday for a matchup that was supposed to be against the Warriors. This one, it's a little higher, 20 and a half, but I'm still liking it on the over. He's been consistently hitting this one all year, and when it's not blowout games, he plays big minutes and should be able to hit this. So taking a look at this one over... On Outlier, you can see on the season, he's hit this in 68% of his games. And in the last 10, he's hit this in 7 of 10 games. But you could see this last game against Indiana, they were blowing them out. And he didn't come back in the fourth quarter to play his last, you know, 7, 8-minute stint. And same with this game, absolute blowout, 30-point game, only played 14 and a half minutes. Besides that, you know, another blowout here. Uh, he should be getting... You know, 27 plus minutes in a close game as expected against OKC. Two actually of the hottest teams in the Western Conference right now. Believe it or not, the Jazz are one of the hottest teams. And I think he can continue this. So on the season, he's hit this in 68% of games. We're going to give him 27 minutes over here. Something pretty cool you could do on Outlier is only look at games where they played a certain amount of minutes. It jumps up to 86% of games. So. Liking John Collins in this one. I think he's going to have a good overall game. And then coming over to Odds Jam for the Odds Jam pick of the day and the third pick. If you guys like to find the best EV bets and shop around on different sports books to find the best value, Odds Jam does that for you here on the Prize Picks tab. They do have a free trial here for seven days as well. If you want to check it out, use the link down below. This is one of their top picks here. Josh Giddy over 15 and a half points plus rebounds. Vandal has this one at 16.5, minus 145 on DraftKings and Bovada. So basically, they'll just spit out the best pick here based on what all the other sports books have. So you can find the best deals on sites like Prize Picks. Highly recommend checking them out. Over here on Outlier, we can look this one up, see why they like it as well. 24 out of 39 games so far. He's hit over on this. 
Coming off back-to-back -back rough games, only played 19 minutes in this one and 20 minutes in that one. They think he's in for a bounce-back game here against Utah. So we're going to go with Josh Giddy here. The guy just got his name cleared. Should be excited to get back out there, you know, with a clean slate again and, and a hoop a little bit. So we are rooting for him in this one on the over 15 and a half boards. That best value pick on the slate from Odd Jam. Then we're going to go to Jaron Jackson here, who obviously he's like the only player left, it seems like, on the the Grizzlies here with Bain out now and Ja Morant. Against Minnesota, possibly the toughest matchup, you know, in the league right now. Somehow Detroit stuck with Minnesota last night. But thinking that Minnesota's at least going to play, you know, their big guys. And hopefully Anthony Edwards doesn't rest in this one. But I think it should be a blowout if he plays or not. Memphis just not going to be good. Jaron Jackson's going to have to go against those two beast down low so I don't think he's going to have a good game and he's really their only weapon that could help them keep it close so for all those reasons going under on Jaron Jackson looking at this one on the over of 29 and a half he's only hit it twice in the last 10 games and on the season only hit this 34 percent of games again you know he should see a usage boost but I don't think the minutes are going to be there it's going to be a blowout and just a really tough matchup here for Jaron Jackson especially on some props here that he hasn't really been hitting all season and I don't think he's going to be in line for a bigger game so taking the unders on him like that pick and leaving the assists off because I think if anything his boost will be in assists you know getting double teamed and dishing it off and his assist is only at one and a half which is something he's actually hit a lot this year so I do like just the points plus rebounds instead of going to the PRA on that one and then for the last pick, we're going to go to Keegan Murray, a guy I've been playing a lot. He's been super hot when he's in the lineup, basically. So we could see the one that I like over here is going to be the PRA. Uh, it's up here on the over, 25 and a half. It's getting up there, but probably, you know, one of the best matchups you could have right now is the Indiana Pacers because they can score the ball, but they also don't play any defense, and especially to – Small forwards, power forwards, they give up a lot of stats. So going with Keegan Murray, expecting a big game here. We can look up Keegan Murray over here on Outlier. And we could see on the season, this is not one that he's been hitting a lot. But in the last 10 games, you could see, I guess, the last eight games, he's hit it in five of his last eight. Barely missed it in the last one. But I think he will uptick his rebounds again here. Just a tough rebounding game. And then in this one, he didn't play much due to an injury, so it can't really count that one. You can see Indiana defense, 29th in the league in points allowed, 12th in rebounds, 6th in assists, but against small forwards, 29, 29, 16, and then power forwards, 29, 18, 13. So much worse against small forwards and power forwards than they are against other positions. So thing and Keegan is going to be in for a big one. We just got to hope that Indiana can keep it close without Halliburton and now without Bruce Brown as well. So we're going to be rooting for a close game here, but Keegan should hit it if it's a close one. So liking him as the fifth pick in the video. If you guys want more picks, we have the private Discord up with five plus cappers in there. Less than a dollar per day on the monthly plan. Definitely check it out. It'll be the pinned comment at the top of the description. You can see all these massive hits over here in the Discord in just the past few days over here so definitely get over in the private discord we have a ton of cappers giving out great picks over here and people are getting cashed out so hopefully you guys enjoyed this one subscribe to the channel and we'll see you in another one